There's job stress and then there's job burnout. And according to a doctor we're about to talk with, the two are definitely not the same thing. The World Health Organization defines burnout as a syndrome resulting from chronic workplace stress that has not been successfully managed, characterized by three dimensions, feelings of exhaustion, increased mental distance from one's job, and reduced professional efficacy. Dr. Mayreen Hernandez is the Chief Medical Officer at United Healthcare, and she's joining us tonight. Dr. Hernandez, thank you so much for being with us. You know, we know you have quite a few tips on how to combat burnout at work, so we'll try to touch on as many as possible. Let's start at the beginning, though. What do you say to your boss if you're feeling burned out? So it's important to actually raise communication with your supervisor and your boss about what is causing that stress in your workplace. Um, the other aspect of communicating how you feel is also bringing in your social circle, um, those families and friends, because they also work too. And uh, getting feelings of encouragement and words uh, and ideas on how to improve your mood um, within the workplace. We, after all, we all have to work. Doctor, a lot of people may be reluctant to bring this up uh, with e even members of your family. What do you suggest in cases like that? So one of the things we always recommend is basically uh, know your health benefits. When it comes to taking advantage of your benefits, especially because there is a, a tight relationship with, with work performance or poor work performance and underlining undiagnosed depression, it is important to access those resources, to actually uh, engage in having uh, behavioral virtual visits and uh, clinical uh, discussions with your uh, benefits in a virtual virtual app. We have an app known as Samvelo that is able to do that, um, where you are able to uh, have a virtual visit within the comfort of your home um, and to address basically uh, those feelings of job burnout. So the people who are feeling this burnout, millions of them have made that move to decide to actually quit their jobs over these last couple of years. They make it seem easy and like they're, they're ready for greener pastures, but it's not always so simple. The grass isn't always greener. How important it is to do the work within when you're switching jobs to make sure it's not just the job, but also you and making sure you're taking care of yourself. It is. So building, you know, one of the long-term things to improve just job satisfaction overall and uh, basically prevent job uh, burnout is to have healthier habits, to have basically a routine of exercise and engage in uh, basically mental calming uh, exercises like yoga, meditation, and even breathing exercises are so important. So when you do this, you will end up basically improving those habits that you do on a day-to-day -day basis and also getting good sleep. Doctor, I have to imagine now with the, the cost, just the cost of housing here in South Florida, the cost of rent, the cost of buying a house, all the stresses, is this situation getting worse or is it in any way getting better? So one of the things that I think that we've seen within the lieu of COVID and pandemic and also the housing stress that you're seeing is that basically the undertones of mental health disease has given, uh, has basically flourished. And we are seeing mental health disease, anxiety, depression actually rise across the board. Very sad, but true, Doctor. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Dr. Maureen Hernandez of United Healthcare, thank you.